Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on writing equations of perpendicular lines. In order for you to understand how to write equations of perpendicular lines, there are a few terms and phrases that we have to review. First, point-slope form. Point-slope form of an equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And with this form, we will substitute values in for y1, m, and x1. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Opposite reciprocal refers to two different things. When I say opposite during this tutorial, I mean opposite sign. So if it's positive, it becomes negative, negative becomes positive. Reciprocal means we're going to flip our fraction. So two thirds would become three halves or three over two. Let's take a look at our first example. So if we have an equation y equals two thirds x plus one and we have a point and we're asked to write an equation that's perpendicular to this equation but goes through the point four three, First of all, we're looking at the equation and we need to figure out what is perpendicular to that equation. We know that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So the opposite of positive two thirds would be a negative and then the reciprocal would be three over two. And that's all we need this equation for, so we could go ahead and cross that out. If we know that it goes through the point four, three, we're gonna start off with point slope form. So four is my x1, three is my y1. Substituting these values into point slope form, we get y minus three equals negative three halves times x minus four. If we're asked to write an equation in point slope form, this would be our answer, but if we're asked to write it in slope intercept form, we're going to have to solve for y. The first step is to distribute. So we're going to distribute negative three halves. We get negative three halves x plus six and to get rid of the constant, we use inverse operations, and we get y equals negative three over two x plus nine. And this is our equation in slope intercept form that goes through the point four three and is perpendicular to the equation y equals two thirds x plus one. Here's our second example. Um, if we're given the equation y equals negative four x plus seven and we have to write an equation that goes through the point three negative two, the opposite reciprocal of negative four is a little tricky because a lot of people don't understand that negative four is a fraction. We just have to write it over one and then it becomes a fraction. Any number over one doesn't change in value. So the opposite of negative four will be positive one over four. And again, we're gonna start with point slope form, substituting these values in for our x1 and y1. We x minus three here. When we see minus a negative, we're gonna change that to plus. And if we're writing an equation in slope intercept form, our first step is to distribute to get rid of the parentheses. So we get y plus two equals one fourth x minus three fourths. And then we're gonna solve for y, so we need to get rid of this positive two by applying an inverse operation. And our answer is y equals one fourth x minus 11 fourths. And some of our answers might look a little bit messy because we're gonna have fractions as our y-intercepts and that's okay. Let's do one more example. So we're gonna write an equation that's perpendicular to this equation and goes through the point negative six, eight. The opposite reciprocal of negative one half, we're gonna take the opposite sign, so it's gonna be positive. And then to flip one over two, that's gonna become positive two over one, or the simplified version of that would just be two. Again, starting with point and slope form, we get y minus eight equals two times x minus a negative six. If you need to review that, we do have some tutorials on point slope form. Distribute the two to solve for y. We're converting this to slope intercept form. And then we have to add eight to get rid of our constant. And we get y equals two x plus 20. So this is our equation 
that is perpendicular to our original equation, but also goes through the point negative 6, 8. That concludes our lesson for today on writing equations of perpendicular lines. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those questions in the comment section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.